Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about industrial biotechnology. Very specifically, we are going to explore its application and scope along with the recent trends. We will also explore the career prospect in such sector along with the eligibility and roadmap to enter such industry. So let's get started. Industrial biotechnology, often referred as a white biotechnology, which is a branch of biotechnology that applies biological system, organism or derivatives to develop and create product and processes for industrial and commercial purpose. Unlike traditional conventional biotechnology, which focuses mainly on healthcare and agriculture, here industrial biotechnology primarily centers around the use of biological system for manufacturing, energy production and environmental management. Here are the key aspects of industrial biotechnology. The number one is microorganism and enzyme. Industrial biotechnology often harnesses the power of microorganisms such as bacteria, yeast and fungi as well as enzyme derived from these organisms. These microorganisms and enzymes are manipulated or engineered to perform specific functions which are beneficial to industrial processes. The next is application in various industries. Industrial biotechnology finds application across diverse industries including energy, chemical, textile, food, beverages and pharmaceuticals. The goal is to replace or supplement traditional industrial processes with more sustainable and eco-friendly alternatives. Another prominent application of industrial biotechnology is in the biofuel production. Microorganisms are used to ferment biomass and produce bioethanol or biodiesels, offering a renewable and cleaner energy sources. The next interesting area and sector is your enzyme engineering. Industrial biotech plays a crucial role in engineering enzymes for specific industrial application. Enzymes can be tailored to enhance the efficiency of various processes such as textile and detergent industry. The next sector is bioremediation. It involves the use of microorganisms to clean up pollutant in the environment. Bioremediation is applied in scenario where microorganisms can break down or neutralize the harmful substances. The next crucial sector is bioplastic synthesis. Industrial biotechnology contribute to the development of biodegradable plastic. Here, microorganisms are used to produce bioplastic as an environmentally friendly alternative to traditional and non-biodegradable plastic. The next important sector is biopharmaceutical production. Genetic engineering of microorganism is employed to produce biopharmaceuticals in more efficient and cost-effective manner. This has implication for the pharmaceutical industry in terms of drug development and manufacturing. And lastly, in the fermentation processes. Microorganism fermentation is utilized in the production of various food and beverage products, including beer, wine and certain types of food addictive. So these are some of the fascinating trends that is happening in the industrial biotech. The number one is synthetic biology advancement. As the field of synthetic biology continue to evolve, enabling the design and construction of novel biological system for the industrial application, this trend includes the engineering of microorganisms with custom genetic pathways for optimized production processes. The next sector is CRISPR-Cas9 technology. The widespread adoption of CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology facilitate the precise and targeted modification of microorganisms. This enhances the efficiency of industrial biotech processes by enabling the development of stains with specific trait for improved production. The next one is circular economy focus. Industrial biotechnology is aligning with principle of circular economy which emphasizes the sustainable use of resources and waste reduction. This trend includes the development of biodegradable material, recycling processes, and the utilization of waste stream for valuable product synthesis. The next one is AI and Big Data Integration. Here the integration of artificial intelligence and Big Data Analytics enhances the optimization of industrial biotech processes. Machine learning algorithm can also be utilized to analyze large data sets to improve the understanding of biological system and to guide the design of more efficient production strategies. The next one is bio-based chemical and material production. 
as there is a growing shift toward the production of bio-based chemical and material as an alternative to traditional petrochemical derived products thus the industrial biotechnology plays a key role in developing sustainable processes for manufacturing bio-based plastic chemical and other material the next one is cell-free biotechnology this is a recent emerging technology which involves using the cell extract instead of intact cell for industrial processes this approach offers advantages such as increased flexibility faster reaction rate and simplified downstream processing and lastly the decentralized and modular production system industrial biotech is moving toward the decentralized and modular production system this trend allow for more flexible and scalable production processes reducing the environmental impact and increasing the adaptability to varying market demands these trends collectively represent ongoing innovations and evolution within the field of industrial biotechnology showcasing its potential to address environmental challenges improve efficiency and contribute to the development of sustainable industrial practices these are some of the high salary career prospect in such industry you can become a bioprocess engineer bioprocess engineers design and optimize the processes involved in the production of biotechnological product ensuring the efficiency scalability and adherence to the regulatory standard you can become a synthetic biologist professional in the synthetic biology mainly work on designing and constructing new biological system for industrial application often using genetic engineering technique to create custom organism with specific function you can enter into the biofuel production as a biotechnologist individual in this role focus on developing and optimizing processes for the production of biofuel using microorganism They mainly contribute to the sustainable energy sector by working on bioethanol, biopetrol, biodiesel, and other biofuel production technology, etc. The next one is environmental biotechnologist or bioremediation specialist, expert in the environmental biotechnology, apply biological processes to remediate and clean up the environmental pollutant. They work on the project involving the use of microorganisms. to break down or neutralize the contaminant the next one is industrial enzyme scientist professional in this field focus on the discovery engineering and the production of enzymes used in various industrial application such as textile food and detergent industry thus enhancing the process and reduce the environmental impact the next one is bio based material scientist with the focus on sustainability These professional work on developing bio-based material including the biodegradable plastic and other environmentally friendly alternative to traditional material derived from petrochemical and lastly the data scientist and bioinformatics specialist as industrial biotech increasingly integrate with the big data and ai technologies thus there is a growing demand for the professional who can analyze large biological data set model biological system and optimize the processes through the data driven approaches these career prospects highlight the diverse range of opportunities within the industrial biotechnology mainly covering the areas such as engineering biology environmental science material science and data analysis the field offer exciting prospect for individuals who are passionate about the sustainability innovation and the intersection of biology with technology so if you are fascinating to enter industrial biotech sector so here is the eligibility and road map to enter such industry and sector entering this field of industrial biotechnology mainly require the combination of education qualification skill development and practical experience so here is a road map to help you navigate your way into this dynamic industry the number one is educational background get a bachelor and master degree in relevant areas such as bioengineering biotech chemical engineering molecular biology or related life science area focus on the course work and the subject that covers molecular biology genetic microbiology biochemistry chemical engineering and bioprocess engineering along with your fundamental of bioinformatics the next important thing is skill development which include various skills like laboratory skills gain a hands on experience with laboratory techniques including molecular cloning dna rna manipulation handling the cell culture and microbial culture along with that analytical skill 
develop an analytical skill for data interpretation, especially if considering the role that involves bioinformatics or data analysis. You also need communication skill. Effective communication skills are essential for collaboration and conveying your complex scientific concept to the diverse audience. And moreover, problem solving and troubleshooting skills, these role in industrial biotech involves optimizing processes and troubleshooting. The next one is advanced education. It is good if you are having master or PhD degree in this given sector. So you can get that specific expertise, which is going to help you in your future career path and in getting leadership positions. This is particularly relevant for roles in research and development and also in academia. Gain a practical experience. You may either do internship and research projects, seek internship or research opportunities in biotechnology companies, research institution or university lab to gain practical experience which can build your network and give you expertise in such sector. If any one of you who are interested in learning and doing research project, dissertation and internship, especially in bio IT and biotech, can also contact us. Along with that networking, try to attend national and international conferences and workshops. Attend the industrial conferences, workshop or seminar to stay updated on the latest trend and connect with the professional in this area. You must also join professional organization. Become a member of professional organizations related to biotechnology. Focus on job application. Create a strong resume. Highlight your educational background, relevant coursework, practical experience and any specialized skills or certification. If you are a beginner, Look for the entry-level positions such as research assistant, laboratory technician, research interns or process development associate to kickstart your career. Customize your application. Never send the journal email or application while applying for the job. Always try to tailor your application to highlight how your skills and experience align with the specific requirement of the job. And lastly, continuous learning. As industrial biotechnology is rapidly evolving field, so stay informed about the latest development, advancement and the newer technology and industry trends. Make sure you are doing regular professional development. Consider additional certification or short courses to enhance your skill set and stay competitive in the job market. By following this roadmap, you can position yourself for a successful entry into the field of industrial biotechnology. Remember to leverage the networking opportunities and showcase your passion for the industry throughout your educational and professional journey. I hope you have liked this session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share your thoughts in the comment below. Let's build a community of passionate learners and scientists together.